So now we're going to do this part here. Little Z shape piece. <clears throat> what we're going to do first is we're going to draw out this part here, this top piece. And then we'll do a flange and another flange. So this, what we're going to start out with is 1.5 by 0.75. And it's 16 gauge. So we'll do a new part. Base. Draw that. Do a rectangle. table because that has all of our thicknesses for us. <clears throat> and so I'm going to say okay. So now I've got that top piece. So now I'm going to do a flange. Now I'll go from this edge. And I want to go down. So let's look at how it is. So we want for the offset this way, we want it to be lined up to the outside of that 1.5. And then for our length, we're measuring from the bottom to the end. See that? So I want to make sure that I'm on, on the outside, not the inside, we want to do the outside. And we do want to be on this one, so we're measuring from the bottom of this face down for our, for our inch. So that was going to be one inch there. Measure down from the bottom. So we can say okay. Our next piece, we're going to measure from the bottom again, out, and this time we're going to be on the outside of it, the one inch, it's here, so we want to be outside of it, but we're still going to measure from the, the near side. So we're going to flange, we want to be from the near side, and that was but now we want to be on the outside of it. Because we want to be on the, the bottom side. We're told to be outside. Okay. So now we have that. So now we can do our whole. That was a. Link to the thickness. Okay. Now you come back in there, edit it. Midpoint up. Plus be vertical. Then dimension from that bottom there. What's why? Right? From the bottom to the hole. That's our half inch.
slide. <coughs> and then just length and thickness. Whenever you're doing cuts, if you, if you just want it to go through that one piece, just link it to the thickness. So that way if you come back and you change the thickness later on, so I come back and I say, oh no, I want to be 14 gauge, not 16. I can just go up here to the sheet metal, edit it, and tell it, oh, 14 gauge. Okay, and it rebuilds and everything still goes all the way through. So I can go up there and change that all the way up to be like 8 gauge, and it's still going to go all the way through. So just, when you're doing sheet metal, link it to the, thing, the thickness, you don't have to worry about it. So we have that. We want to flatten it. So we take a look. Unflatten it. Save it. Then what next? What's the next thing we want to do with this thing? Drawing. Drawing, right? Yep. So I'll just make a drawing from it. So well, I'll do a right view. The top and side. Symmetric. Right? I can also do a model view of that for the next. And see right here, one of my options now is flat pattern. So on the, under the options here for like front, side, whatever, I have one for flat pattern. That's what I want. So pick flat pattern, bring it in. You can see it all, it brings in my bed notes for me. So I could move these up a little bit so I can see what it is. So how much of it gets dimensioned here versus here? We want to dimension as much as possible in the flat pattern. Anything that they can check while it's flat, we want to dimension where it's flat. It's like the width there. Basically all this stuff, right? Can be dimensioned here, can be checked here. What about the hole? Can it be checked in the flat pattern? Where is it inspected? So where, where do I care about it? I care, care about this dimension about half inch. So I can check this dimension in the flat pattern, but I can't check this dimension yet. That's one that I wanted to mention on the, the folded view. So here I can mention all this stuff. So.
need some bend dimensions to where those bend lines are. So I'm going to do horizontal ordinate dimensioning. Depending on where you go, some places like to do baseline dimensions or chain. One of the many places I like, like to use ordinate dimensioning because you don't have a big stack of dimensions like you do with, with baseline dimensioning. You just start at one place and you just have numbers on how far it is from that. <coughs> so we're going to start from here. Draw our zero. And we'll just pick on the lines we want to dimension. This part is kind of small. Go you know, up so we can put these our notes on those lines there. So now they know where to set those steps, and those stops on it, and where to lay out the bed lines. And then over here, all we care about is the dimensions that they're going to use when they actually form it. So we're going to dimension that dimension. that dimension and that one. So really don't need the top view here either. So that's what I'd have on the form view and that's what I'd have on the flat view. We just want to give them what they need where they need it. Okay. Also one other thing we probably want to make something that we can send to the shop with that. Um, so I always add a new sheet. And then I just delete that sheet format. So now I've just got a blank sheet. And I just do model view, plot pattern. And I make sure it's one to one. I put it in. Now we can delete all this other. <coughs> Hide all this stuff. We just want to adjust the geometry and we just kind of put it down in the corner. Because now I can go in. Go to save as. Save that. Go to save as. And I can tell it a DXF and save this right as a DXF file to send over to the laser cutter or the punch press or whatever. And they can bring it in as a DXF and put it into the program. <clears throat> so I'd always just have one sheet that's so the drawing sheet and another sheet with just. The flat pattern, no notes, no nothing, just the geometry so I can export it out. Um, to them. So, questions on that? So if you do sheet metal, that's a good, a good way to do it. So here you've got this. Here you've got just a 2D drawing of it that you can export to send to them. Um, so it saves them a couple steps. Let's them know that you know what you're doing. Um, they don't have to try and convert your 3D model back into just, just a 2D. Um, some places will want the actual model also so that if you're farming it out, they can adjust the K factors themselves uh, to get it to get it right. Because when you're done, you don't care about this size, you care about this being right. So you, you, it's fine to let them adjust it as long as you get this to come out what how you want it. So questions? So go ahead and do that one. That's here under the Z, the, the Z folder or the H on yours. Sheet metal. It's there. Also, there's a PDF of a projector mount. If you want to do something a little bit more challenging. So you should have time to work on this one also. Uh, so here we have some actual threaded holes in here, and this is actually this mount right here. This 
mounting plate. So if you want to come look at this to, to see it, we have that also. So that will be a nice, nice one to try a lot of different things on. So questions? Okay. All right.